Thanks for joining us. Our big story tonight. Noise from I-15 has gotten so bad for one neighborhood, they're unable to use their backyards. And in some cases, they're unable to get a good night's sleep. And it's been identified as a chip seal problem, which are rocks used to protect the road's asphalt. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Pope speaks with the ITD and asks some important questions. I previously spoke with ITD about a chip seal erosion down the center of this line on Highway 20 between Rigby and Thornton. And while that problem might have been identified and possibly even solved, the noise complaints from the Burwood neighborhood by I-15 made me wonder if the problem is deeper. Why does Idaho use a chip seal? The purpose of a chip seal is twofold. First, to uh, seal the pavement against weathering, and second, to provide a semi-rough surface for improved vehicle traction. Documents from 2003 released by the state materials engineer read, to minimize our exposure and answer public concerns, restrictions on chip size and asphalt type are being instituted. The district shall consider plant mix seal, micro surfacing, or other high volume seal coating application other than chip seal. A second document reads, due to our experience with several significant seal coat failures over the last several years, Procedures will allow us to address performance and noise concerns. Apply an additional coat of asphalt and chips to seal it and to provide that traction. So the, the plant mix forms the pavement and then you seal that pavement with a, a chip seal. So even if you use the plant mix, you'd still have to put a chip seal over the top. Exactly. So even though that document says plant mix could be used in place of a seal coat, ITD still uses a chip seal anyway. Taking action for you, I'm Stephen Pope, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Stephen will continue to investigate the chip seal problem. If you'd like to share your story, email him at stephenp at kidk.com.